हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड मॉर्फोलॉजिकल इमेज प्रोसेसिंग इन इमेज प्रोसेसिंग मैथमेटिकल मॉर्फोलॉजी इज यूज्ड एज अ टूल फॉर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग the image components that are useful in representation and description of regions such as boundaries skeletons and convex hull so we can say the image morphology is used for extracting image components that are useful for representation and descriptions of the regions of an image such as boundaries skeletons and convex hull so here boundaries skeletons and convex hulls are the different regions and shapes of the digital image the morphological techniques are used for pre processing or post processing so we can use morphological technique for pre processing of an image or post processing of an image so we can use this for morphological filtering thinning and pruning so here pruning is nothing but trimming of an image the language of mathematical morphology is set theory set theory is the mathematical morphology representation of an object in a digital image now let us understand some basic concepts let us consider a to be a set in z square where z is two dimensional integer space if we consider a which is equal to a1 comma a2 which is an element of a then we can write a belongs to capital a if we consider z as two dimensional integer space in that integer space if we consider a that is at the coordinate a1 comma a2 then we can say a belongs to capital a if a is not an element of a then we can write a does not belong to a the set with no elements are known as null or empty set that can be represented with phi so the set with no element can be known as null set or empty set that can be represented with phi a set can be represented by a content of two braces as shown here the elements of the sets are known as coordinates of pixels that represents the object and also it represents other features of interest in an image so the elements of set are known as coordinates of the pixel that represent the object and other features of the image other features like intensity of an image if every element of a set a is also an element of another set b then a is a subset of b so this can be represented as a is subset of b so this is the representation of subset if the element of a is also an element of b we can represent it as a is subset of b the union of two sets a and b can be represented as c is equal to a union b the intersection of set a and b can be represented as a intersection b so this is how we can represent the intersection of set a and b two sets a and b are said to be disjoint or mutually exclusive if no common elements are present so that can be represented as a intersection b is equal to phi so here it represents null so if no common elements are present in the set a and b then we can represent it as a intersection b is equal to null set which is phi the complement of a set a can be represented as a to the power of c is equal to w where w does not belong to a the difference between two sets can be written as a minus b is equal to w where w belongs to a and w does not belong to b so if we consider two sets a and b here the term w will belong to a and w will not belong to b this figure shows the example for the above set theory which we have explained so the result of the operation is indicated in each figure 
with a gray color. So if we consider two set A and B, so A union B is represented in this figure and A intersection B is represented here. So as you can see, this gray color represents the region which shows A intersection B. A complement is represented in this figure and A minus B is represented in this figure. As you can see, elements in A are represented in gray which means only this region represents A minus B. So we are subtracting A from B. So the region that is covering B is subtracted and the remaining region is considered here. The reflection of set B can be represented by B cap. So here B cap can be written as W where W will be equal to minus B where B belongs to capital B. So the reflection can be represented as B cap is equal to W where W is equal to minus B. The translation of set A by point Z is equal to Z1 comma Z2 can be represented as AZ is equal to C where C will be equal to A plus Z. Here small a belongs to capital A. So this is the representation of translation of an image and this is the representation of reflection of the set B. So as you can see, this is the representation of set B. And if we take the reflection of this set, we'll get in this form. So it is just the reflection operation of set B. Now let us understand some logical operations. The logical operation provides the powerful complement of implementation of the image processing algorithm that are used on morphology. So logical operation provide the powerful complement for implementation of image processing algorithm that are used in morphology. The principal logic operations that are used in image processing are AND, OR and NOT operations. Here NOT operation is complement operation. So these are the principal logic operation that are used in image processing. And also we can combine any of these logical operation to obtain other logical operation. The logical operations are performed pixel by pixel basis, which means the logical operations are performed between corresponding pixels of two or more images except for NOT operation. So NOT operation is performed on the pixel of a single image. This figure shows the various example of logical operations involving image where black color or gray color indicates binary 1 and white represents binary 0. Here if we take an image A, if we perform NOT operation, we will obtain the opposite of the image A, which means the white pixels are converted into black pixels or gray color and black pixels are converted into white pixels. That is nothing but your NOT operation. If we perform AND operation by considering two images, if these two images are considered for AND operation, so this is the resulting image where the common region is converted to black and other region is in white color. So if we consider similar two images, if we perform R operation, the region that are common between A and B are black color and remaining part of the image is in white color. So this is the representation of XOR operation and this is the representation of NOT AND operation. So if we say NOT AND operation, which means we need to consider NOT A and B. So it is the combination of NOT and AND operation. This is about some basic concepts of set theory and logical operations in morphological image processing. In the next lecture, we will understand dilution and erosion in morphological image processing. Hope you have understood this topic. Thank you.